Oh, hey, we have the Boxy Charm unboxing. It's May. It's birthday month. It's gonna be May. It is May. This and is called Super Bloom. And I know my voice sounds weird. I won't talk about it. All right, let's find some shit for you. I assume Super Bloom is some kind of like April showers brings May flowers kind of shit, but it's still raining, so explain oh, that to me. Oh, I think you're me. gonna really like this. I better. There you go. There's two different things in there. This is the Cab Cosmetics Lemon and Lime Lip Oil Duo. Ooh. Now, with a juicy lemon and lime scent in two new shades, your lips will love this non-sticky, instant burst of hydration. Swipe this formula on for comfortable, juicy lips all day long. I think we've gotten this brand before. I remember there being a blue one. Isn't that blue raspberry? No. Or blueberry? No. Oh, here it is, or actually. Or, or was it schnozberry? It was schnozberry. Um, we had You're gotten not going to get it out through those bars. Duplicates. It's bigger than the bar. Stop trying. Of uh, <laughs> the one box. We had gotten duplicates of the one box, so I got a duplicate of the, the blue one, which I will show you right here. What flavor is that? It was nothing. Oh, it was not. Oh, it's not set. It's not. I don't scented? think it tasted like anything. I don't think it tastes like anything. I think it's scent scented. I don't remember it smelling like anything. I re I remember you said that you actually. Oh, liked that smells so good. That does smell really good. I love but that. That's the lemon you, one. If you mix them together, they're sprite. It's sprite flavored. I like the lime one too. I love citrus, so this is like literally perfect. Yeah, that's and what I, I said. And I love lip products. You that's can never have too many lip products. That's, that's that's why I said I feel like it hit it hits all the all the check marks for stuff you like. I ordered um, Jack Black lip balm in a set because I love their lip balm, and my Sephora order came and it wasn't in there, so I was like, oh, I must have forgot to order it. So I went on Amazon and ordered the same exact thing. So now, uh, needless to say, my my shipment was just in a different box, and I have nine thousand lip balms now. Yes, <laughs> but does. that's really not like a problem because this is from Dominique all. Cosmetics. It's the Blur and Moisture Serum Primer. This refreshing gel serum primer instantly hydrates your skin, giving you a smooth, even canvas for makeup application. With the active ingredient of Saliporine 8. Did I say that right? I guess. I'm fucking not, not chemist. Uh, you will notice your skin hydration level boost by 6,000% within th 30 days. Packed 6, with clean, powerhouse ingredients like hyaluronic acid. I know how to say that now. Uh, Trehalos, betatine, betanine, betine, betaine, betaine. We're going to go with betaine. Just work through it. Betaine. I feel like fucking hooked on phonics work for me. And a unique sugar complex that deliver, that deliver, should be delivers. Way to go. A burst of hydration that helps your skin to maintain that moisture. Plus, it has a refreshing cooling effect that'll be sure to wake up your skin. I don't really feel a cooling effect. Do you feel do maybe you feel a little bit? Up? No, maybe a little bit on this Wake hand where I put up. more on there, but I don't feel like it's like that burny kind of tingling that we're used to with a lot of products. So that's nice because you could put this under your eyes. But also, like my hand is very shiny now, and I don't need any extra shine. So stop sending me stuff to moisturize. I wear a moisturizer and then I have to put an oil controlling thing over. Didn't it. you say you needed mascara? I just ordered mascara. Oh, what kind waited. of mascara? I like tubing mascara, but... This is from Stella. Stella. Whatever. This is Huge Extreme Lash Mascara. Stella's, Stella, whatever it's called, volumizing, long-wearing mascara, drenches every lash in intense triple black pigments and builds unstoppable color. That's a very large brush. For the boldest, blackest lashes ever. With just one coat. You instantly get major volume, length, lift, and intense black color. Even with multiple coats, this flexible formula leaves lashes soft with no clumps, flakes, or fallout. That's a pretty component. I'm going to call shenanigans on no flakes because everything flakes off. Except for tubing formulas. Except for my friends on my birthday dinner. Thank you, Tommy and Justin. All right, this is a makeup brush. Ooh. This is the Alley -oop. Multitasker 4-in-1 Makeup Brush. An award-winning multitasker brush combined with 
The four most essential makeup applicators, including a sponge, blush, brow, and eyeshadow brush. This compact game changer is all you need for a full face on the go or at home. Each is made of premium synthetic fibers. Mm. Mm, wow. No. I don't like dual-ended brushes. Hold, 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 you I was twist about to say, it. I was about to say, it's... Oh, I think... Hold on. Does that just pull out? No, no, no. Look. I don't like the sponge. So it's got the two inner ones and then the two outer ones. I can never find a good use for this Holy kind of brush. Fucking MacGyver brush. Yeah, I don't know. I don't like this. There you go. And they're hard to store because you're going to get it dirty. Yeah, spin it. Yeah. So, I don't know. I'm not excited about this. I don't like oh, these I'm kind so... of angled brushes because it's like for face powders, it doesn't really give me an even application. For blush, I guess they could be okay. I guess for like a but bronzer, they that, could be. That okay. might be something good to take down to like your parent, your parent, your parent, parents when you're not gonna do a lot of makeup. Eh. Just so, you, just so you only take one brush. But then too, like, transporting it is gonna be a pain in the ass because God. you're gonna squish one side. You know what I mean? And you have a box right there. Yeah, but I'm not gonna carry a box around with me I where know. I could fit all the makeup brushes I need rather than the. Four in one brush. So this isn't a palette. Oh. This is the Complex Culture Beauty Baked Highlighter and Bronzer Quad. Go for the glow with this creamy, blendable foursome infused with skin loving ingredients. Buildable formulas are baked to perfection to intensify pigment for vibrant color that lasts. Enjoy the dewy effects of a liquid and the convenience of a powder for a healthy dose of glow. It's got a good mirror on it, though. Yeah. If only it was... What do we want the mirrors to be? I want them to have magnified. some magnification. Why do they not magnify the mirrors in these? I'll never, for, I'll never get that. Because a lot of people don't realize that people with visual impairment even also with, like to wear makeup. Even people without visual visual impairments if you're if you can hold the mirror further back if you don't want it to be as yeah. so those are you can see the two highlight shades on the top of my hand there near my pinky and then there's like a more i guess it's like a i'd say the one on the bottom is probably more of the cool tone like this one right here and then that one in the middle seems like more of a warm tone the highlighters are very 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 pretty i like them i don't know that i'm gonna get so much use out of both of those bronzers but i gotta wipe my hand off well that's it that's it that's all it doesn't seem like a lot i mean i guess i got the two lip oils in the one container but and what a mascara a primer Seems like the brush I'm not going to use. Yeah, so you got five. You got five. You got five things. That's, that's usually bad. that's usually what it is. Five five fingers. You uh, say five fingers. Five fingers, five fingers. Okay, makeup. Yay. I mean, I don't really know that I'm going to do an extensive review on these things. Maybe more so. Like I know I like the lip oils. Um, probably just like the mascara and the the highlighter palette the highlighter contour palette um i don't feel like the primer is gonna do anything for me and it's already humid here so i don't know that i necessarily want to put like something else that's gonna make me shiny but yeah i will check in in a little bit talk about the mascara at least and the if i use the palette i'll talk about the palette i won't be here but I'll see you guys soon. Bye. So I just finished up my makeup. I used that primer and then I used this NARS tinted moisturizer over top just because I'm not feeling like I want to wear anything full coverage today. Uh, for my eyes, I did this and this in my crease 
And then I think I use this one, which is a little warmer and darker of the two highlighters on my lid, just because I really wanted to use like everything. And the highlighters did feel really so pretty and nice and smooth. And I contoured with the lighter, cooler tone. I put a little blush on, which is my favorite, the Tarte, the party one. Love that. And I highlighted, of course, with that lighter tone on my cheeks, my nose a little bit. We're gonna, we're gonna ignore that. It's been, it's been rough. So I did try that brush and I was unfortunately justified in how much I didn't like it initially. I tried to contour with this and it's just not like my ideal brush for that. It's kind of flimsy. It's not really, you know what I mean? Like if it was thicker and shorter, maybe I'd feel like I had more control, but I didn't. And then I color switched it and tried to do my blush with it, which was fine. It's kind of hard to mess up your blush application, but still not a fan. I did apply my highlight with a little eyeshadow brush color switched again, blended it out. Still like, why? I don't want this. I'm not a fan. Don't like it. I used the mascara on my top lashes. My lower lashes are a little tricky, so I have a mascara with a very, very short brush to do that. Just because, like, little eyes, little brush, you know. I feel like it took me a while to get there to build up to what this is. This is probably like three coats and most likely it's too chunky for a lot of people's preference. Why is this up so high? But it's fine. I'm going to wear it for a bit, see if it's going to flake on me because typically if it's going to flake, it's going to happen pretty soon. That's just how my skin works. But I think I used everything. I'm saving those lip oils for when I run out of that other one because I hate feeling like I'm wasting things and I have 900 things open at one time. But here's my initial look and I'll check in in a little bit and we'll talk about how things wore. I am going to be wearing sunglasses later so obviously we're going to have the marks here and probably on my cheeks but like nothing stops that so I don't care. But I'll see you in a little bit. Well, hello there. So I'm doing a check-in. I think it's been probably like almost six hours at this point. And I'm just gonna give a quick peek, see how everything looks. I'm gonna say I'm not thrilled with that primer. I am obviously very shiny. Like I, I could just blind people with this forehead right now. Um, not, not my favorite. I don't like a moisturizing primer with my skincare. I do like a toner, serum, and then moisturizer. And if I'm not wearing that tinted moisturizer, I would wear my sunscreen, which is just like super goop, the clear stuff. So like I always wear a moisturizer regardless. So I don't really need my, my primer to also be moisturizing just because it's just too much. And I feel like I powdered everything. You would never know. It's, I think like the only matte area kind of is under my eyes. Just everything's, it's very shiny. Uh, the highlighter held up really nicely. I can still see that really well the highlighter and bronzer that I used on my eyelids is still really hanging in there. Well, my lips feel great. Love that lip stuff. I used my opened tube that I have. Um, Oh, the mascara, the mascara is still there. My lashes did fall a little bit. They're not as like bing as they were before, which is kind of disappointing, but there's a lot of coughing going on in this house. I feel like the mascara is nice. I don't see, well, there's a little bit, there's a little bit of flaking. I wonder how this would fare, you know, during my actual work week and everything. I did order the Thrive Cosmetics, uh, liquid lash extensions mascara, which I'm really excited about trying that out. 
I got the black and the blue because I I haven't had a blue mascara it's, it's been a long time and I really wanted to play with that again it looks fun it's not like a super bright blue it seems like more maybe like a dark royal blue not quite like a navy but you know what I mean and that's supposed to make your eyes look more awake and bright and white so yeah still hate that brush <laughs> um but that that palette and the mascara I really do like and uh, I will say with the mascara the application felt a bit difficult like it wasn't getting on my lashes I don't know if it was because it was such a big brush or maybe the formula of the product was just a little different. Like I said, I'm, I'm used to using tubing mascaras, so it was a bit lighter and I was just like, is it on? Like, is it doing anything? Am I reaching the root of my lashes? So I would have liked maybe a smaller brush with that, but again, small little eyes. I like a small little brush, but uh, did you get any of the same products in your BoxyCharm? I'd love to know. Have you used Thrive Cosmetics before? I'd love to know a little bit before my order gets here. If you have any comments. I did get one of their, um, the eyeshadow sticks as well. One of the matte ones. I thought I would try that out. I've been trying a new eyeshadow primer. I don't know where it is. I think this is it. In one of the groups I'm on, a makeup group on Facebook, they said that this was really good. A lot of people were suggesting like the MAC paint pot, which I've used and I still crease. Like I crease no matter what. I really don't want to crease. I just want my eyeshadow to stay where it is. I want it to obey. But if you also have any suggestions, I'd love to know. Um, you can follow me on Facebook at Reanimator Reviews, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok at Reanimator. Uh, hit the bell if you would like to see, be alerted of further uploads, live streams, anything like that like the video if you did like the video or you could like the video if you also have a face demon a Bruin. Um, I hope everyone's doing well and having a great weekend, day, wherever it is you're watching this and see you later. Bye. Well, hello. Well, hello. Can I show you all? Rumor. Is my rumor. She's so pretty. You look so mad. Come on. Look at her. You pretty girl. <laughs> these toes. I love these toes. I need to get you a new collar. This is rumor. Look at those feet. She's so cute. Her birthday's coming up. She's gonna be three. She's baby. Look at this belly. I love it. The other one's sleeping over there. Oh, you're so cute. I like to catch her on the couch when she's sitting like this, like people. You know? Kind of like a little Buddha. Okay, bye. Oh, there's more. There's more. Come here. I got this one. He's a wiggly man's. He's so cute. This is Dobby. He's baby. He's got multi flavored beans. I love them. Yeah. Whoa. Whoa. There you go. He's a good boy. He purrs very, very loud. His birthday was May 1st. He's freshly three years old. And baby. He's baby. I'm trying to get a cat wheelie. Come on. Cat wheelie. Cat wheelie. Oh my god. Oh, he's so sweet. That's my phone. Alright, bye for real.